This video is on the Wago Jumpflux 857-500 frequency transducer. Here's where we bring in our 24 volts to power the device, and we're going to bring in our frequency on this side, and we'll convert it to a standard analog, be it a 4 to 20 or 0 to 10 volt type of signal. So we'll just go ahead and uh, connect some wires here to power and monitor the device. The blue wires are our common, and the red is our 24 volts, and the purple is our signal. So this is our signal generator. We're going to hook this right up to uh, the input as well as our uh, oscilloscope to monitor it. Uh, we'll use a DVM set to milliamps to monitor the output, and uh, this is set to uh, 4 to 20 milliamps, so 20 milliamp would be our max. We're going to need to download some software. Just uh, search on Wago's website for JumpFlex software and uh, download the interface configuration software. Go ahead and connect the JumpFlex up using the uh, configuration cable and install the software. Then when it's done installing, click Transducer and using the COM port that it installed, go ahead and click Start. So you can see it's communicating uh, online. There's some settings here. We're going to use the, the mid-range and gate valve and AC-DC coupling. And we'll set the uh, max 20 milliamp output to be 10 kHz. So if we turn our oscilloscope on, you can see it's reading 1 kHz, which is correct, and it's uh, right around 5 milliamps. 2 kHz, you can see, it goes up to 7.14 milliamps. And our midpoint would be uh, 5 kHz. That should be right around 12 milliamps. So it's tracking uh, really well. We'll go to our full scale just to see that we're seeing our full amount there. So uh, another thing we can do with this device is we can adjust the threshold. So what we'll do is we'll adjust the amplitude down. And this is this oscilloscope you can see is set to uh, 5 volts per, per division. So I'm going to drop it way down and you can see now it's no longer registering any frequency. So we'll set our threshold back down to the minimum here which is um, less than 0.4 and greater than 1.5 volts. Click right, and then when that's done, you can see now it's registering our uh, 1 kHz signal, and we can you know, just verify at different settings that we're still tracking correctly. And uh, the other thing you can do is you can change the range. So um, this has up to 120 kHz range, but maybe you want the greater precision at a lower frequency, so we'll drop this down to uh, 1 kHz range, and then we'll click the W icon which writes it to the device and you can see now we're monitoring our 20 milliamps uh, on the output. So if you've got a device with a strange frequency output signal that you want to convert to a standard analog you might want to take a look at the JumpFlex product. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.